What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. George Santos, the deceiver. George Santos, a congressman that won uh, New York, a district, I believe, here in New York State. He's under a lot of trouble because he's about to be sworn in January 3rd. Come to find out, Mr. George Santos has admitted to a host of lies. All right. They're saying that this guy was pretty much lying about what school he went through. But the biggest lie that he is told is that he lied and said that he is Jewish. He lied and said that his grandparents were like running from the Holocaust and stuff like that. Come to find out this is was has been found out to be a bold faced lie. He even said that I never said that I was Jewish. I said because of my grandparents that I am Jew ish that just so happened to be jewish <laughs> you know who came up with that fear phrase that just so happened to be jewish now this has been the last this last six oh, actually this whole year back and forth there has been uh things going on that they've been calling anti-semitic from what whoopi goldberg said all the way back in january to what she just put out this last week yes a video about that coming up not only that, also, uh, we already know here on my page, Kanye, Ye, and Kyrie, they've been caught up in the mix. But I've been seeing how these things are handled differently. Now, the GOP is pretty mad at George Santos, but this anger won't go too far. You know why? They need that seat. That seat was one of the tiebreakers. So they control, you know, the House. So they need that seat. Now, the Republican Jewish coalition said that he's not welcome at any of their events. And I have a lot, of, I have a few things to say about this. For one, man, the man just need to go ahead and convert. Because uh, if he converts, isn't he supposed to be treated just like any other Jewish person? Uh, another thing I wanna state is that I put a video out about Whoopi Goldberg and how she's gotten in trouble for her uh, comments that she said again, what happened in World War II happening from beliefs, it couldn't happen because of race, because they couldn't tell them out on the streets. All right. Now, the reason why I want to bring that up is if that's really about race, then why could nobody tell that this man is not uh, is not Jewish? If I went up there and said that I was Jewish, you know, first of all, I wouldn't get that far in the race. They would probably they probably wouldn't even let me run. They they would say I'm taking culture identity stuff like that, all kinds of stuff that I don't want to get into on this video. But they were not able to tell that this man was not Jewish. I mean, Santos, if you even told me that, looking at his last name, that seems like his last. So, I, you know, I, this topic is giving me a headache. In my opinion, when you don't know the total truth about something, and people keep throwing all this stuff at you, it, it something is just not right, okay? And I, I literally got a headache from this. The CEO of the Republican Jewish Coalition, Matt Brooks, said he was disappointed in Santos after the congressman-elect admitted to embellishing key facts about his life in two separate interviews on Monday. Uh, he deceived us and misrepresented his heritage in public comments, and to us personally, he previously claimed to be Jewish. He has begun his tenure in Congress on a very wrong note. He will not be welcome at future RJC events. I mean, he also lied about where he worked. It said he told the Post that he never worked directly for Wall Street firm Goldman Sachs. And then he said, I'm embarrassed and sorry for having embellished my resume. We do stupid things in life. <laughs> he also said, I never claimed to be Jewish. I am Catholic because I learned my maternal family had a Jewish background. I said I was Jewish. Jewish. There's one thing I will tell you that it points out. It points out to me some sort of privilege because all these people were willing to be on his side when they thought he was Jewish. Now that they find out he's not Jewish, now everybody like, no, you can't, you, you can't have his seat. Look, the man is gonna keep the seat in my opinion. I don't think he's gonna be able to lose the seat. I think that he shows that it's some type of privilege when you come from that background here in America and you know people are willing to vote for you and the guy that he beat was actually really jewish uh zimmerman or whatever the case may be man y'all know how i feel i'm just gonna be honest with you i think that this guy you know i wouldn't want nobody lying saying you know they're black but people do that all the time with blacks you know we got uh rachel dozal and stuff like that hey the man got voted in 
hey, people lie about being Jewish all the time. I think the man should keep his seat. I think he's showing the faults of the system um, that we're in. It's, it's definitely not a perfect system. And this whole stuff about being Jewish, man, let that man have a seat. If they all voted for him because they thought that he was Jewish, well, shame on them. All right. Now, there is one big question that I, that I want to know. I want to see, are they going to treat him like Kyrie and Ye? I want to see, is he going to get that treatment? And like how they about to treat Whoopi Goldberg. I want to know. I want to know. Y'all tell me in the comment section, should he get the same treatment as them? Do you think that he's going to get the same treatment as them? I don't think so, man. I don't. Uh, but, and if you watch my page, you should understand this too. It's a big difference when someone like him lying and say they're Jewish and someone like Ye and Kyrie saying that we're Jewish. You notice how they take one more serious than the other, right? I want to know where Mr. Greenblatt is, the, the bald-headed guy that looked like the German. I want to know where he's at with this. Because I don't see no ramifications really happening like this. I don't see people calling him anti-Semitic. They're just saying, whoopsie. That's what it sounds like they're saying. <laughs> whoopsie. Like, but we're going to be watching this just like we're going to watch the Whoopi Goldberg situation, just like we've been covering Ye and Kyrie. All right. Well, anyways, you know how we like to end our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I'll see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved. Whew.